Well, Mary, everything is looking great today. You mentioned you have a few questions about C-sections? I've been doing some research and I'm confused. Are some women getting C-sections they don't really need? For some births, cesarean sections are really important. They can save lives or reduce the chance of complications for the baby and the mother. But it's also true that C-sections have become too common, and many could be avoided. Oh, why is that? Well, there are many reasons. Here are a few. One big reason is that sometimes doctors get conflicting information during labor. For example, electronic monitoring during labor produces a lot of information for doctors to worry about. Sometimes that information can be a false alarm, so doctors sometimes perform a C-section on more women than might really need one. But I know lots of women who have had a C-section. Aren't they pretty common? Well, that's another reason there are so many more C-sections today. They've become so common that many people now accept them as no big deal. But a C-section is still major surgery. Like any surgery, it should only be used if it's absolutely needed. Both doctors and moms tend to overlook how C-sections increase the chances of having major complications, like infections or heavy blood loss. Oh, I didn't know that. And a third big reason more C-sections are being done today is that doctors make decisions based on your current pregnancy, not future pregnancies. But a lot of women don't realize that once you have a C-section, you have a 90% chance of having another C-section when you have your next baby. And with each C-section, the risks of major complications go up. What steps can I take to avoid a C-section I don't absolutely need? Well, you can be careful about how much weight you gain and try to stay active while you're pregnant. It's also important to learn as much as you can about labor and birth. So take a birth class. You can find out the C-section rates of the hospitals and doctors you're considering. Also, have a skilled support person, such as an experienced friend or a doula, help you during labor. And of course, it all starts with the conversation we're having now. Your voice matters. Your doctor and your support team need to know what's important to you.